Hi everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Elastic Email with Adalo in order for you to be able to send emails with Adalo. So in order to start, when we log in, we're going to see this uh, screen. So we go to start, then we need to do a connection to the HTTPI. So we're going to go here. We're going to do a create API. So then we're going to just do something random here as a key. And most important here is to select the send email via HTTP. But in this case, I'm just going to go choose plugin. And we can see we have this post options, which is fine. So we're going to do a create. Then we have this key. We're going to copy. We're going to save it here for later. Because once I do close, you will not be able to access again, as we can see. So now the way to do this is usually I go to the documentation. I come here to the help center and we go to API. And then here below, we can see in general how to send emails via API. So we're going to click here. And I have here then all I need to set up this with the dollar. So I have the, the send command, which is post. And then I have here also the base URL and also the necessary parameters to perform this. So now continuing to Adalo, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to home just here. I'm going to add a component. I'm going to do a single button. And now how can I set up Elastic Email here? I'm going to do a custom action. So I'm going to do add action, custom action. I'm going to go here below, new custom action. And then I'm going to say, Elastic email. Select create because I want to send a new email, right? So I'm going to do next. And then here is where I then need to put this HTTP so link. I'm going to do here. And as indicated, I'm going to do a post. And here then is where, the, where it says headers and queries is actually where we set up this parameters. So I'm just going to go ahead and do them. So one here. So this is going to be the API key. Add another one. It's going to be subject. I'm going to add another one from. So I'm just doing this to make sure I have everything before I send some dummy data. So then two. I'm going to use the body text because I just want to use plain text in this case. And finally, I'm going to do the is transactional. So this is basically just to say I'm sending a transactional email and not actually a marketing. So now I'm going to set up the key that we had previously created. I'm going to do a copy. We have the key. OK, done. And the subject, I'm just going to say, hello, Adalo. Uh, from, just going to add an email for the purpose of the exercise. To, it doesn't really matter, just going to add John Doe here, mail.com. And the body text, this is a message. And then is transactional. I'm going to add a true. So, so we are done here. So now I'm just going to do a run test request. And if it, everything goes OK, it gives a success. If not, it gives an error. So just let's see. So, OK, test successful. And as you can see here in the URL called, we also see what we put in the parameters here. So as you can check. OK, so this ends this sending email with Elastic Email. So now in the part two, I'm going to show you how we you actually submit the form and use dynamic data in that email.